Thanks everyone for your patience. Go ahead, Todd. Go ahead, Todd. Uh, Greg, uh, Greg, just wondering, just you know, with the fans being, you know, the most important part of the, the home game experience and the advantage, uh, what are some of the other advantages of, of playing here at home? Yeah, uh, I'm sure everybody, staff and players all appreciate being in their own home, their own environment, sleeping in their own beds. Uh, I know there's a, a feel good space that coming back to your own building and being in an area that you work hard and train in uh, to build those con uh, confident vibes and confidence going into a hockey game. So just the familiarity of the environment that you're in, the space that you're in. What kind of minutes do you see giving out to, you know, guys like Martin Marinson, who's obviously been ready to get back to uh, full play and game play and Alex Kilchenyuk? Yeah, we're going to give them a lot of minutes. Uh, those guys, want reps, they need reps. You know, it's been a while for them to play games. They're excited and we're excited for them tonight. Next question goes to Nick Barden. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, Greg, just a quick one for you today. Um, I was wondering on the status of Adam Brooks and whether or not he'll be playing tonight. Uh, he's day to day. Uh, it'll, it'll be a game time decision. Next question goes to Lance Hornby. Go ahead, Lance. Hi, Greg. I uh, just wondered uh, a follow up to the Galchenyuk question. Uh, what kind of challenge is it for a guy who hasn't played uh, in the AHL before? Uh, and do you figure just maybe adrenaline will carry him through any, uh, you know, any situation that he's, uh, he's not used to playing at that level? Yeah, for sure. Adrenaline, excitement to play again. Well, we'll definitely carry him into this first game. Uh, for anybody, regardless who they are, if they haven't played a game in a long time, just the game timing and the speed and the flow. Uh, and the reads might be a little bit of adjustment. Again, I'm still getting to know him too as a player. So, uh, you know, we'll see. But, uh, you know, for how good he is, I don't think it'll take too long for him to adjust. Thank you. Next question goes to David Sis. Go ahead, David. Hey, Greg, thanks for doing this. Uh, I just wanted to know, on a personal uh, level, you haven't played here at home yet. So what is it like for you to finally get to play uh, um, in your uh, home arena this time? I mean, it's exciting to be much like the players. Uh, it's, a, it's a special building. We know there's been a lot of staff and a lot of people who have put in a lot of work to prepare uh, this place for us to, to have this season in, in very difficult times. And we're very grateful for all those people to, to put in that work and uh, the sacrifices they've made to make this happen. And last question goes to Joshua Cloak. Go ahead, Joshua. Hey, Greg, two quick ones here for you. Uh, with Kenny Agostino, with the Leafs taxi squad, do you expect Alex Galchenyuk to play on that top line on either the center or on the wing? Uh, he'll definitely have uh, a big responsibility within our lineup. Uh, I can't speak for, you know, specifically what line we're going to play on, but, uh, you know, he'll, he'll be getting those kind of minutes. And what is the nature of Adam Brooks's injury? Uh, just a forearm contusion, uh, nothing serious day to day, but um, he, he looks good on the ice this morning. Thanks.